As our nations continue to emerge from COVID-19 restrictions, vaccinated Americans are able to gather safely this past weekend for two happy events, Father's Day and the first Juneteenth federal holiday. These celebrations came at the end of a week that brought welcome news to America. After years, 11 years of fighting the Affordable Care Act, the Supreme Court finally said to the Republicans, enough. Millions of Americans have health insurance at a time when they desperately need it in the midst of a pandemic, and your theories on Constitution and law are not adequate to end the Affordable Care Act. Thank goodness for that ruling, seven to two ruling. The administration, of course, was heartened by that and by the knowledge that we are fast approaching the point where 70% of the adults in America are going to be vaccinated. Remember when President Biden took office six months ago? Yes, we had the vaccines, but we hadn't produced them in quantity and we didn't have a plan for vaccinating America. Thank goodness. Now, the United States is leading the world in the effort to vaccine, vaccinate its population. And I thank President Biden for that and the resources that we provided to him. We still have a challenge. We still have a threat. The Delta variant is much more easily spread than COVID strain that shut down the nation last year. It has now been identified in 41 states. For those who are holding back and not get, seeking a vaccination, they are in greater danger than they were a year ago if that infection comes near them. I hope my Republican colleagues will join the Democrats in urging Americans to be vaccinated as quickly as possible. 